Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Um, today's video, uh, I wanted to give some uh, spins on the Dead Eye list again. This time with Wander, I took out Elias, which it's a really good card, but um, just having this possible Sunset and Alarin on a bleed with a possible Redea, you almost always keep your card advantage. And you can uh, heat wave their last thing or spores it if it's something stupid. <laughs> but um, it's pretty much the same list. Uh, we just shuffled some things around. Um, I'm going to include one game I forgot to put the audio on. Uh, but I'm going to run it through again um, with commentary by me. Um, and then the second game... Um, versus some uh, Agalus. So uh, first game, commentary. Second game, Agalus. <laughs> but uh, you guys are wonderful, man. Thank you for, you know, everything, all the upvotes and stuff. It, uh, it feels really good. So thank you. I'll see you guys at the end. All right. So Lippy Friend here. Uh, yeah, I goofed. I forgot to turn my audio on on this one. <laughs> But it works out. Put on some duelist music for you. I don't know if there's any duelist friends in the chat. But I, I love that game. Man. It's definitely what really, really cultivated my CCG community. Like how I promote a game, like on my channel and everything, and just like I'm, I'm not like no social media master or nothing, but anything I can do to help the game out, I always do, so. Um, but yeah, we go up against the uh, Lippy Friend. I figured I'd go uninteractive. And you can see he's a Wanderer Friend as well. So Spore actually does come up okay in this matchup. I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know what, let's just heat wave this. He's gonna he wants to discard a bunch of stuff. He doesn't have the discard stratagem, but I figured, you know what? I'm not gonna really get that great of a target anyways. I could squirrel his um series. So I just I just go for it. I just off rip a Nero. I'm hoping he doesn't have a squirrel. Although I'm looking at my hand and I'm like, I have Fain Death, I have Redea, I have Vernossiel. I'm okay. I'm totally okay with this. He grabs up whatever he was looking for. He, he gets his series. We already knew that was coming. And I'm not gonna play into this. Like, he, he gets his thinning done. His Wanderer's ticking just like mine. There's nothing really worth purifying in this matchup. Usually. He ended up having bears, I believe, but playing these good cards just just to play them doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to play this and uh, the doomed card here, and I'm out. Like, see, he's going, he's going full megascopes and all that other stuff. So we just go here. Everything else is gold, though. I'm saving the spores uh, for his wander or snowdrop. He goes burning. So he gets some of his thinning done. He gets an extra uh, shield maiden. We're out. That's it. We're, we're done. Our hand's golden. We don't want our thing to come out. The uh, wander. worked out well. Tor reveal comes up huge in this matchup because he, he does fill up the row a lot. There she is. Scoytel has some just badass elf chicks in there. They're just badass. Like look at Vernossio. 
from what I understand, Ye or uh, Toraville is. I had Toraville and Kieran backwards. I thought that was a guy and the thing was a girl. But they're just so badass, man. They're always. I guess. I, I guess if you were just like messed with all day long, you would. You'd be pissed too. You know? Um. So I figured I'd get out the the other elf. And then I'm just gonna go for the banish on the squirrel. I maybe should have did that first, but I was afraid that once that I would have a dead um, thing in my hand. So I played the elite, smacked it. He's gonna get value off of his uh, hero hounds now, but we're okay with it. I have everything in hand though, so this Anero really doesn't do anything for me. I have Toraville. I have Redea. I have Vernasio. I have. I got the nuts. The nuts are here. So we just. I mean, it, the squirrel plays for 12 points, right? I mean, it's eliminating 11. It's eliminating his uh, series. So it eliminates 11 points. He drew one more card, but we're going to be able to uh, spores his wanderer which is good yeah the tour of your cup look huge we do know that the feign death isn't going to make it that it's going to be heat wave but because they always just thin so well. This is hilarious. He uses a leader charge here too and doesn't get it. <laughs> I love it. He gets these hunters though. I didn't expect this um, at all. So he kills our what's it called? But uh, we just go. We go in with Redea. We want to stay up. We want to get last say with uh, Tour Reveal. We're gonna have uh, an eight jump out of the deck here. He's only got one ping, so. It is what it is, but this is where this deck shines. It it draw, it's got these big big bombs. Like now, look at that. I got 20 points. His is gonna come down too. I think his is a 10, but I have spores, so spores is gonna play for a nine, which is massive. I figured here he would play like a curse of corruption, but I think he plays a mega scope on the hunter, which is really slow, and that's good for me. Yeah, he just copies the Mega Scope. Which is fine. His Wanderer comes out, so he gets a 29. Um, I did this backwards, I lost a point here. I needed to play the Bomber, flip and flip. I had to do it backwards, I lost a point here. So. I already know. <laughs> I already know. I think it hits both. It hits the hunter and the the other guy. Oh, it hits the eight. Oh, that's right. It makes my thing a little bit worse. I goofed there, though. I needed to flip that first. That would have been so good too, because he ends up getting double here, so he kills one of my. So he has Bear Witcher. If he has location, it makes it kind of tough. Um, I was looking at this and I'm like, I need, I need Alloran to come out. I think. I think he's gonna keep going. It's five cards. I think it's time to drop it. Just so that I for sure stay up. Oh no, we take the spores, that's right. We take the spores, and then we play the, the Alloran. But then we have to use a leader charge, that's where... But see, if I would have had those flip, this wouldn't have happened. This thing would have still been, still been up. I think he plays a bear here so that he gets all these pings. But we're still trying to hang on to that tour of because we're a card up and we want to have that last say. He gets double. 
We have to play it. There's no way around it. We can't hang on to it no more. Um, and we need to... We, I, I, I felt that that was more than this. I felt that I needed to stay up. Because in the, in the last round, these cards are going to come up pretty huge. So I play the Verno, and I do one liter charge. To make sure I get that pass. Yeah, see, he, he passed. We're good. We kept our golds. We still got two leader charges. We got a last say to reveal. I think we still get some somewhat decent cards, too. Um, I think we dropped that. But I think we just keep this. I think this was the hand. I didn't want to... I think I dropped the foam in it. Because it. it's just limited the rows. Risky mulligan there, but we just dropped the swordman first. Everything's stacking on melee. Lippy comes down. Perfect waylay target. So now we get our, yeah, yeah, we, we do the waylay first, then we go, I think we save the heat wave, maybe we bait him a little bit, because here comes his shield maidens, because he has thinning and he doesn't want to draw into it, so he's setting up the Granasio for me, which is great. Stay in front row because we want to get Yaven. Not killing anything because we know that we're going to get to reveal. Next we play the Haymay. We do got two leader charges as well. I think I even just play... What's it called? Yaven out of hand. Just to kill that back. No. Yeah, we play, we play the scenario. We get it down now. Um, it actually ticks, which is nice, because uh, we, we have all devotion right now. So he has Heat Wave. We just take the Yaven. Keeping the front row alive. I didn't think there was going to be anything else that big. We overkilled by one, but... The Swordmaster just... Going to town. This was cute. Camby, my Toraville. I'm holding on to it the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I uh, I, I I get the uh, I don't have to I did it for BM <laughs> just for ripping my card off. Camby, Camby finisher. <laughs> All right, we'll switch over to the uh, the next one with live comment. Okay, dwarves. All right. Purify might be key for this. We have a movement tool, that's good. This could be huge. Nothing's gonna be three though. So I think we dumped the waylay. And the pack. We always play the blue mountain first. We drew none of our gold cards. <laughs> Really? Oh, um, nothing's going to be three, right? It's all right. 
to get the answer. Maybe I should have played this one first. A Nero. Already. Oh, shit. Iris's companion. So he has Iris as well. Okay. That's such a cool animation. We go Pyro. Not sure if anything of his is row locked. Circle. He might lose on even here. Yeah, he might lose on even, especially with this coming out. Rebuke. Very weird. Um. I guess we go here. It's getting a little bit awkward now. Really? Holy cow. The carryover though, like... I mean, I get it, but... I guess we just go here. Set this up a little bit better. But then... Eh, it is what it is. I think... Well, we just popped that, right? Spit it out already. That didn't get any of the boosts. We leave that alone. We get the 7 out as well. Maxi could be okay. I guess Tour Reveal this round might be alright. But if we get that carryover out of him, he's in trouble. He has Iris in hand. I love this card. He looks so much like my old dog. I wanted to try to get a picture of my old dog and Raven, my cat Raven to do this, but they won't, they won't go next to each other. <laughs> Uh, I think if I get a Heat Wave or Spores, he needs 10 points. Oh, he passed. Beautiful. The question is, is he Agalus? It's a bunch of carryover he is. I got Spores. And Nero's beautiful. I think we're, I think we're pushing. I don't think we want a Making a Bomb or this. No, Alarin, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see what we're drawing here. Um, I guess we keep this row clear. All right, we're getting Heat Wave and Radea. Feign Death. The only thing we're not drawing is Isengrim. That's fine. We just confirm. Seems like a good play. I don't know, I think I just go down to, I save spores. Ah, oh, we see, sir. We see. So what's he spawning? Is that our heat wave? I think it is. I don't think, whatever he's got planned, <laughs> he let it happen. So then he plays the spawn chick. Okay, scribe. That's okay. Is this our pass? This doesn't do anything. This card's good. This card's good. We're drawing Radea and we have Thing. He's down a card and we have... I think this is where we get out. If I could kill that clean, I would. But if he's... Yeah, he's an Agalus deck. <laughs> His spores is gonna... Gonna crush... Absolutely crush. He's Agalus. Four point card. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so we dropped the bomb. I 
think we dropped the waylay too. Well, he might have more of those three cards. The flute, the flute chicks. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't want to break the Alaran. Let's just leave it go. I think we're good. I think we're good. I save this for the bomb chicks if they have them. What? What? Really? Really? Well then. So we go and if he has heat wave, he's gonna win. No, we go Redea first. We don't click. A Darren Agalus Feign Death. Smuggler. Alright, so I think we kill... Well, we don't care about that card in hand that's getting buffed. We want to kill this. Oh, we just... Oh, we don't have the movement no more. So, we go here. We go here. We back row this. We could still wait. If he has Heat Wave, he might win. Francesca, okay. Can we kill that? I think we can. In one turn, I believe. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Kill one of these. Beautiful. Alarin comes out. Do we overswarm? This waylay might be bad. So it goes a Nero. We got the answer. He has only got a couple more specials left. He gets a waylay. Go f kill my back row. Thank you. Alright. So we kill that one. We flip this one. It should be a full blown massacre. <laughs> the back row is going to get hit pretty hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one goes front row. Circle, okay. Man, this Agalus is gonna get just obliterated. Keep the rose clean. Um, I guess we can get rid of that. I guess we go Toraville next. Sorcerers, okay. So he wants that hand buff again. <laughs> Agalus is gonna be pretty beefy. It's gonna be beefy, but we got spores, so. Um, let's see if we can get that thing whittled down. It did not hit it once. <laughs> not once. I probably, well, I guess I could go to reveal next. 18. He goes special. What does he get? Caress. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's a 57? 49. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Good game. 
Yeah, once he lost uneven, it was it was no good. I wondered the the, the Adarin was kind of awkward. Um, hey, that's the video for today, guys. Short one. I just wanted to give this uh, uh, this version with Wanderers a spin. Let me know what you guys think. I uh, I think it's I I miss Elias. I really like that card, but. Um, just having that carryover for the possible bleed along with like a Redea and Alarin, it's huge. Once again, though, if you run into Syndicate, just forfeit. It, they, they're just going to wreck you. It's it's too overtuned for this, and the drill just owns every little eye you drop. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.